Hi, and welcome to Microsoft Power Tools YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics and automation. As we continue on the SharePoint for Beginners series, I'm going to show you how to populate the vacation decision form that we have, the data from this form, how do we populate it on the SharePoint list that we've created. By the way, if you have not followed the past video series where I taught how to create a SharePoint team site, how to create SharePoint list, how to share your list with your team members, you should check the videos with the link in the comment section. Let us get to business. How do we populate the data we have on our Microsoft Forms, that's a vacation decision, how do we then populate it on this SharePoint list? I'm going to do that through Microsoft Power Automate. Let's create our flow. It's going to be an automated flow which get triggered whenever some fees form. I'm then going to just pick my trigger which is when a new response is submitted on the form and I'm going to call it vacation decision deck just vacation deck flow. Let's create. If this is your first time of creating this, it's going to take a few seconds, like 5 to 10 seconds, to sign in to your Microsoft form just to be able to retrieve all the forms that you have there. I have several forms there, and I'm just going to search for vacation just to ease that process, the vacation decision. The next step is for you to retrieve all the information that are on that form. The fact that you have connected to the form does not mean you have all the information. So we are going to look for the action card, get response details. This is the action card that will help you to retrieve all the information on your form. And the next thing is to choose which form are you connect, collecting this information from. Vacation decision, which response ID, that is this dynamic content ID. The next step here is for us to then go and create the item on our SharePoint list. And I'm going to search for an action called create item. So we're going to see several create items or get items, but the one we need is the create item on SharePoint. So simple and fast, it's going to ask us to locate the SharePoint site. Remember, SharePoint test site. That's the one we've created. And what is the name of the list? This is the only list that we have there. Once I click on this, it's going to retrieve all the columns that I have on my list. Do you see that? Title is compulsory. I just have to fill it with my response ID because that's unique employee name i'm coming back to this in the next video because microsoft form does not collect for us the name of the employee however it's going to collect the employee email based on the way you have configured the form but the name will not be available except you link it to an excel online i'm going to show that in another video by the way i have a couple of videos on this channel that shows how to create your form the right way in that manner you can retrieve the employee name but I'm going to show us another video how do we get the employee name. So for now, employee email, which is already inside the, that's the responder's email. I'm going to fill others now. Submission time. Willing to go. How soon will you be expecting? Which month is most suitable? Game suggestion. Can you suggest again? Decision timeline. How soon will you be expecting a definite response from you? So I'm going to click on save. So right now, we've been able to automate it. When I test this flow, when I fill the form, we will have all the information right here on this SharePoint list. Let's do that. I'm going to preview. Are you willing to go with the team on vacation? By the way, I've had a branch to this form. So depending on the response that I choose, it's going to you know, show the next feed. If I say I'm willing to go, of course I'm willing. The next is to ask me for which month do I want, you know, do I prefer? What if you choose no, it's going to ask you, okay, even though you are not going, just suggest the game you would love to play if you are there. That way you can have more fun for guys that made it to the vacation. And if you are still in the system, indecisive, you can let us know. We need to know in three, five or seven days, how soon are we going to get a definite response from you? You know, definitely I'm up for things like this and I would like March. I just need to watch the tides. So March is okay for me and I'm going to click on submit. All right. Let's get back to our SharePoint list and see, would information get to populate this list? Hmm. Depending on your network strength, it might take some seconds, but Viola, I have it here now. Remember, those other fields are still there. Employee name is there. 
the email employee name is not here but the email is there the time is there are you willing to go yes and which month is suitable match so that's fine that is the end you see how simple it is the more people fill the form from this back end you can easily see and report by the way you can share it with your manager so that he or she can have a view and see how everything is faring yeah people are willing to go on vacation in the next video let's see how we're going to populate this employee name if you are enjoying this please subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you comment and ask questions i'm willing to attend to them and also create videos to address your questions